Hello, welcome to Informed Entrepreneur Magazine. My name is Mike Baumstark, and I'm a small business owner myself. Today I'm interviewing Elaine Brayman of La Bella Bridal Consignment Boutique. And I think you'll find as you watch the video that it's a very interesting place in Old Town Occoquan. Uh, kind of a delightful experience to be in this area. And this shop just fits the motif beautifully. Welcome, Elaine. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank nice you for the opportunity. Today. Good. Okay, so we're going to start out with, uh, tell us how you got to this place. Where are you from? Where, how did you wind up in this area? And then we'll ask some questions about the business. Excellent. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for the opportunity in being here today. We're honored to have you in this opportunity. Thank you. Um, to, to be in the magazine. Very honored indeed. Um, I got started back, well, first of all, let me give you a little bit of my background. Okay. I was born in West Africa, okay. in Sierra Leone. Um, a little Sierra fame, Sierra Leone. A little fame about Sierra Leone is the biggest diamond in the world actually was discovered in Sierra Leone. Wow, how big was and, it? And uh, it's not the Hope Diamond, but I believe it's bigger than the Hope Diamond. Wow! And so that's that's you That's not well known. So exactly. So a lot of a lot of the time people talk about you know um, Sierra Leone. You talk more because we've had a few wars and civil war and things like that. Yep. All the rest. Yes. Um, but it is a beautiful country, and I'm the young. I'm the youngest of eight children. Yes. And due to the civil war that took place, um, my mom adopted several children from the civil war. Wow. And she was a sweetheart. And Your fact, mom must be. She was called Mama Africa um, because she has a heart of gold and she also built a church. And so from a very Fantastic. young age, um, she taught us um, the important source in our lives. And so our faith was very, very important so, to us. And so that's the kind of upbringing I have. Um, yes. And also, watching my mom, she was also the director of West African Dance Troupe. And so when you talk about the talking drums, when you hear a drums, Africans love to dance and love music. Yes. And so that's what my mother was, and she was the director of that, and so wow. which was incredible. Yes. And, um, and you're talking in past tense yes. about your mom. Does that mean she's no longer alive? She's no longer alive, I'm yes. I'm sorry. Yes. She sorry. passed away. Mom passed away. Um, went home to be with the Lord. Um, it'll be six years this past oh, August recent. 28. Yes. So, so that's too, oh my, Yes. you think about her, I'm oh, sure. Oh, constantly. Yes. In fact, there's a picture of her actually um, in the bridal salon. Um, just about, around about the time when mom was sick and passing away, she passed away of pancre pan pancreatic cancer. Sorry. And around about that time, um, I talked to her and you know I shared my desires that I would love to one day do this business. And she said, well, you have the faith and if anyone can do it, she believed in me that I have Fantastic. the, the, you know, the, um, opportunity to be able to do it and definitely did she, she see the place it. she didn't get to see the place oh I'm sorry and so this was more or less an honor to her that's the reason why I have the picture of her in the bridal section she may be watching now yes I, for we, sure we, we think that's I, possible I, I am very very confident in that indeed uh, uh, especially the upbringing that I had yes yes indeed. fantastic yes. Mm -hmm. that's wonderful yeah um, okay so a little bit about my mom she was yes. a very fashionable woman very fashionable Mom did well, that would not make just sense because yeah. <laughs> you are very fashionable. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Mom didn't just put on a dress. It could be some days she could embrace the African culture by putting on an African dress, and some days she would go international and put on. But she always had a twist. She always had something a little different than the ordinary. Yes. She was a superb. And so I basically, if people pay me a compliment, it is a compliment to my mother, because Wonderful. I watched her and I modeled my life, um, yes. my fashion. Um, you would say from my mom. So it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Do you have pictures of her in, in the shop? I have a picture of my mom next door. Okay. Um, oh. In the bridal section. So we'll we'll take a look at that sure. in a few minutes because Thank we're gonna you. we're gonna walk around the shop in a few minutes and uh, uh, show you what it's like. Uh, and also in a moment here we're gonna bring out a bride to be and uh, let Ella Lynn show us uh, an example of someone who's a smiling bride to be in the shop here. Um, Okay, so you came here, your mom inspired you that you could actually do this, it had been on your mind. Mm -hmm. So how did you take the leap? I mean, what did you do? What did you do? Well, um, in terms of the, f the fashion and the faith in primary, um, that came from mom, from Africa. Like I said, I'm the youngest of eight children, and I, lived, I left Africa from a young age. I was actually 12, and I, I traveled to um, the United Kingdom. And I was in the United Kingdom for a number of years, for yes. up to 19 years, okay. and I did fashion. 
and um, I was discovered in similar story to Naomi Campbell and um, well, you, someone you, you do look like her That's thank true. you yes. someone had approached me about doing modeling yes. and um, I discovered that wait a minute I love fashion and so I was actually able to do some classes I did some courses in fashion and I discovered the runway was just like having a bread and butter I love really? the runway and I love <laughs> strutting on stage oh and my. love the camera and um, and so did uh, quite a few publications and and you know got yes. money to be able to go to school yes and um, but my background is actually social work and psychology okay so which in sense in the long term really helps revolve around because there's a lot of emotions in the bridal industry you yes. have to be really emotionally attuned to these women um, yes. when they come in looking for that perfect dress yes well you, um, you really care I, I can tell you. in your demeanor in your eyes that you really do thank care you. Well, everybody, I would like for you to meet this beautiful bride. As a matter of fact, this was not prearranged. Um, Rebecca was here this morning to try on some gowns that she had looked at our store before. And so we got an opportunity to ask her if she would like to participate in this. And she said yes. And she is right now wearing a, one of our beautiful dress and her husband-to-be serves us. And so we thank her um, for her service and thank him also for the service to our country. And Rebecca, what would you share with us about your experience at Labella? Well, you know, I've been to probably eight or ten other shops mm -hmm. before this one, and I, I couldn't find anything that I liked, and the people seemed very busy, and when I came here, everyone was so embracing and Wonderful. friendly and Excellent. warm, Thank and you. just took all the time in the world, and just... I just, I feel like everyone here is my friend. Aww. You know, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. We're very honored. Thank you. And you have you. a beautiful selection of gowns. Thank you. Um, more variety than I've seen other places. Fantastic. Um, I love that you have a lot of consignment gowns because the prices are half of what they normally would be. Excellent. Which is very helpful. Very good. Especially in the economy that we're in. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And they look like new. Excellent. I mean, you know, you can't we're tell that they're very for that. Would you refer um, La Bella Bridal Boutique to any brides that you know or anyone going to military? I already have. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I work Wonderful. with a girl that's getting married in Thank about a year you. and she's marrying an army guy. Wonderful. And I already told her about this shop. We appreciate because that. Because we're animal keepers and we're on a limited budget. Awesome. And you can just get gorgeous gowns and don't I have to worry about that. That's here. wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Sure. We really appreciate you taking this time out of your busy schedule to come and visit and we're honored to, um, to serve you and we hope that the whole experience from here on is going to be wonderful. And it Thank is. You. We do treat every bride that comes in like our friend and so we are very honored. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. We thought you just might like to enjoy a little vignette uh, with a bride that was being prepared for her wedding here and enjoying the process at uh, the bridal shop here. All right, give me a couple of things that you have found to be difficult mm -hmm. in getting your own business going um, mm -hmm. as a sole as a sole as proprietor, a sole proprietor. Business owner. Yes, um, like uh, I would say, finding the right staffing that better represents yourself. Yes. Um, but having said that, I believe my prayers have finally been answered. I have just been blessed with two incredible ladies in Roslyn and the back one, as yes. you can hear that allows me the flexibility Wonderful. to be able to sit here and do this. Yes. Um, and she so, is like you. I, I, it, I found her to be almost a clone of that you. That is so interesting. Which is really good. So a lot good. of people have been saying that and a lot of people sometimes think that, are you guys sisters? So it's a yeah. compliment. I mean, because she's a lady who I truly respect. Yes. And, and she how I got you to, well. How I got to know her was through a friend who is was a customer and she's like my earth mom, I called her. So staffing has been one issue which I hope is being eliminated. Yes. Um, and basically now I just have to learn to delegate. That's the next step. So that's always hard because you think I got to I got to do this. You multitask. It's almost like being a mom. You want to multitask, but yes. a shop. Yes, it is your name, but you really need to learn the the art, perfecting yes. the art of delegation. Yes. Um, now that I have the staff on board. Well, you, I can tell that the people that work here are very excellent people. Thank you. Um, it, it's not a surprise to me, but uh, I felt that Rosalind had almost an owner feeling ab about her when you talk to her. It's almost uh -huh. like she's embraced 
like she, it's her shop as well as yours. That's exactly that is. I don't remember. That's a don't huge compliment, and because this is exactly what I mentioned to her and told her, and, and this is how we all work together. We are all a team. It's not just me. Right. Um, we are all a team. I so. don't recommend partnerships, by the way. Yes. But thank you. She, if she can act like one and be happy, that's be, that'd be wonderful. Awesome. Um, now, the lady that was just interviewed mm -hmm. on the video here with us is an example mm -hmm. of someone who's very happy. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that if I ask you this question, mm -hmm. what are your successes in being in business, that mm -hmm. this lady would be an example of that. Would that tr be true? She will be, um, uh, she would be a good example of that. And also, I think um, people come in and to me it's really important. It goes back to my, whole, my background as to how I was raised. Um, do unto others as you would want done unto you. And, and we try to practice that as much as possible. Um, when a bride comes in, she's entrusted in us their faith. They want us to find a dress. We need to be honest. We need to tell them, listen, okay, first three things. We need to res be respectful of their budget, which yeah. is very important. Um, the style that they're looking for, we really need to listen. Often is the time, with all my experiences, remember I also worked with designer Fem, um, Vera Wang, and I was a trainer at David's Bridal, and I opened Demetrius store. With all those experiences that I have gained, I try to perfect it and learn from that, and not make the same mistakes. Listen to your brides is very important. Listen to a woman when she comes in and she's telling you, this is what I want, listen to her. And if we don't have the style, the beauty about us having La Bella 2, which is downstairs, we bring in our alteration screw to make the dress to what she wants. Right. Um, and so that's a great success story also, also bringing in an introduction La Bella 2 downstairs. Yes. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll look around in just a excellent, minute. Excellent, excellent. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, um, is there anything in closing you'd like to share with the audience that might be potential bride clients or other businesses? What would you like to share? I would like to share that La Bella Bridal Boutique in Aquaquan, we're really not just a clothes shop. We are all about relationship. Um, Rebecca so said it in one sentence, and that is she feels like when she comes into our store, she feels like she's a friend, and she feels like um, we are the kind of people she would want to have a glass of wine, have a coffee with, and that's how we treat every customer. So if you're a bride that's out there wondering which store shall I try it, we ask you to try us first. We guarantee you, your experience with us will be one that you would um, remember. And uh, we've had our brides come in. Um, they've got married. They've brought in pictures. And we, I had a, 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 a bride the other day whose daughter, she, um, she had a, a baby. And she came in and introduced me to the baby and, and brought a christening outfit for the baby. And so that's huge compliments. And so we've served generations to generations. And so... Um, and that's how we want, we want to continue to do. Um, we also do a lot of work within the mil um, uh, military and within the community. In fact, we have a special thing that's going on right now. We want to honor military, especially the military stay-home wives. Uh, we want to give them a makeover. So if you go to our website um, or Facebook, or if you friend us, you can get that information there. We're looking for a um, nomination for a lady who wants to go to the ball but is hesitant about her shape, or about her size, about what to wear. We ask them to come and we will dress her up for the, for the ball. Just our way of saying thank you um, and, and that we, we really appreciate. We give discount to military. We give discount to teachers and also first responders as well. First responders being fire, uh, policemen, this yes. sort of thing. Yes, fantastic. Yes. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the interview today. We're going to be showing you around the shop uh, now and uh, share with other people who might like to have a great experience uh, at the bridal shop here. And uh, again, thank you very much for the interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you yes. very much. We're very blessed and honored. We thank you for your time. Yes. Thank and the you. credits will uh, explain to you how to find uh, the shop here. Thank you, Elaine. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. Thank you.